I wanted to start out with alcohol inks on UPO. Alcohol inks are soluble in alcohol, like rubbing alcohol. So what we do is kind of uh, pour and mix and it blooms across the surface of the UPO paper, which is a synthetic kind of paper um, made out of a kind of plastic. What this is really about though is um, the organic edges, these organic blobs that can become a ground for us to work on top of. We can work on top of it with uh, different kinds of inks like India ink, Sumi ink, acrylic ink, and it won't disturb the alcohol inks. Um, graphite can work a little bit, acrylic paints work well on it, gel pens, etc. Let's compare these to like water media we've worked with before that can give us blobs and we're about to look at Denril. But see these examples, how on UPO the alcohol inks are kind of like amoebas. They have solid edges. Here's alcohol ink on Denril and use the same exact process as a, on UPO. But the edges dry more organic and permeable. This is an example of backlighting. So Denril has a really good potential for um, installing on windows, for example, or on top of a light box. And you can see really intricate details translate. And also when you start to layer it up, the farthest back layer becomes very diffused and the frontal layer is very detailed. So I'm doing a similar thing that I did with UPO, cutting a nice organic edge, but I'm leaving some of the translucency. You can work on top of Denril with all sorts of inks, uh, paints, graphite, and charcoal. So here I'm using some inks, again on that same mixed media paper, and uh, the thing about inks is they tend to be very vibrant and they also tend to sort of bloom out or feather out um, really quickly and with some beautiful patterning. So it can be a little bit more dramatic and different than watercolor. Um, you can do the same thing with a spray bottle, spray down a puddle, and add some watercolor to the puddle. Um, and sometimes what happens is all of the pigment settles to the bottom and uh, ink doesn't really tend to do that. It tends to spread quickly throughout the water. The other nice thing about um, ink depending on which kind you use, is once it's dry, it tends to be water resistant. This would make a great ground for some pen and ink drawing or charcoal or graphite or other dry media. All three of these options can give you an exciting ground to work on top of, getting away from the typical white rectangle that we're usually accustomed to drawing on. Give it a try. Good luck.